That's a big bass. That is a big bass. That's what we've been waiting for all day right here. What another beautiful morning out here on the Delta. It's been a while since I've been back on the Delta, especially out here at this launch. I haven't been here for a couple months now. I've tried a couple other times going out, staying close to home. I've caught a few little fish here and there, but I just don't feel like anybody would really want to watch me catching just a couple little dinky fish. So I haven't put any footage together from that. Let me know in the comments, you know, is that something you'd be interested in watching? I mean, it's catching fish, it's just not catching anything of quality. But I haven't been able to get back out here to the Delta until today. And uh, this might be the first time, or it might be the only opportunity I have for a while too. So hopefully we make a good day of it. It's supposed to be really hot today. We got here at first light. Plan is to fish until maybe 11 30, 12 o'clock. Get out of here before it gets too hot and before the party boaters are in full force out here. This is right in an area where I was out here another time and caught a couple three and a half four pounders on back-to-back -back cast right through here on a chopo so I know I've got some history in this spot so I'm trying to repeat it uh, oh we have a little guy oh we still do <clears throat> Skunk is out of the boat. Picked up the first fish on the fluke. Just a tiny guy. But no skunk. Let's let this guy go. Thanks, bud. I'm gonna go back to the top water. I just wanted to saw a bunch of little fish popping up on the surface over there chasing bait, so wanted to get one out of the way but let's go back to top water for a little while we're gonna try several different things today I mean right now I'm just trying to pick up some fish on this early morning top water bite hopefully there. oh that's just a little guy this is what's been hitting at my bait right here look at that that is what's been hitting at it unbelievable buddy nothing but monsters I might need to retire after catching that monster alright well we got at least one decent fish here he hit right at the boat, too. Well, I was about to... I was about to uh, put the chopo down. Let's see. Yeah, he would have been like 12 and a half. So he's a keeper. And just because my uh, sister got me a new scale to replace the one I dropped in the water, so... Let's use it. This is the first fish on it. A little over a pound. Go ahead and release this guy. He gone. Probably a dangerous cast. Probably gonna get hung up. But there's a fish in there. And that's why you make those casts. Just a little one, but geez, he hit like a monster. 
I really thought that was going to be a big fish because I threw that thing way back up in there. I mean, six inch sink out, six inch fish. Nothing but monsters today, guys. Nothing but monsters. Just kind of junk fishing right now. It's like a little bit of everything is kind of working. I mean, we're not catching monsters, but we're catching fish. Caught two on the Chapo, one on a fluke. One on a wacky rig. <sighs> Alright, I think it's time to put down top water for a little bit. Doesn't mean I won't continue to throw it. But I just have a feeling the fish are being a little finessey today, so let's chuck around. Let's chuck around the Senko some more. And right on cue, catch another fish with the Senko. You got big appetites. Oh. Really, guys? Really? This is what we're going to catch today? Come on. All right. We got a limit of dinks. Throw some lunker lotion on this guy. This one's just another little guy, but this one's better than some of the other ones I've been catching. Alright, just another dink. There we go. Finally, a chatterbait fish. Oh, he just came off. It wasn't a huge fish, but man, it sure... Beats what I've been catching. Oh my goodness, that's two right here. And I saw that one. That one was a lot better. Look at this little bass right here chasing bait. <laughs> Got it. Probably won't show up on camera, but that was kind of cool to watch. He was after it. I haven't tried the fluke for a minute. Let's try that. Uh, another little fish on the fluke. Let's let this guy go. Bye, buddy. This is a pretty decent fish. Alright. Second keeper of the day. That's at least a respectable fish there. That one. It's nothing major, but shoot. After what we've been catching today, this one feels like a 10 pounder after what I've been putting in the boat today. Now, come on. 13 and a half. And just cause. This might be the last fish of the day, so let's see what he weighs. One pound, seven ounces. Might be hard to see on the scale, I don't know, but one pound, seven ounces. Jesus, that thing's getting hammered the second I throw it over there. It's got to be a little fish. Little bluegill. That's not a little fish. That is a better fish. Uh, premature. It's still a little fish. 
Yeah, still. He's still a little guy. Just another micro. I mean, eventually I'm gonna run into a big one, right? Like, I can't just keep catching all these little tiny ones and not run across one decent sized one that wants to eat. It's just been kind of a frustrating day catching fish, but I mean, really, I've lost a ton of fish, which if they're all this size, I mean, I don't really care, but. Like I said, I mean, I'm catching fish, but this just isn't what I come out here to catch. I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but we can do better. Be a good one, come on. Be a good one. It's not. He's a fighter though. He was definitely fighting hard. He fought like he was 10 times his size. Thanks bud. This is actually a good fish. Come on. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. It's fighting more like a striper, but I'm hoping it's not, because if it's not, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a big bass. It is a big bass. That's what we've been waiting for all day right here. Right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what we've been trying to catch all day. This is what I've been looking for all day. It's 18 and a quarter. Three and a half. Okay. All right, that's gonna that's gonna do it for the day out here. It's getting a little warm out here. I'm gonna pack it in. It was kind of a strange day out here. I was catching a ton of fish. Really only had two decent sized keepers for most of the day. And just a ton of little tiny micro bass. And then there towards the end of the day, I was on my way back in, decided to just throw Cinco right on the edge of that point. And man, as soon as that Cinco hit the water, that, that big old bass hit it and it was a good fight. Wasn't quite sure if it was a bass at first. It was kind of fighting like a striper, but nice little three and a half pound bass to end the day, make it kind of a respectable trip. So I enjoyed the day. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I don't know how much more opportunity I'm going to get to fish this summer, but uh, definitely, definitely be back out here on the Delta. Had a good day. Enjoyed it. Now I'm going to pack it in get into some air conditioning and uh, enjoy the rest of this weekend thanks for coming along if you did like the video please hit that like button hit that subscribe button it helps the channel out and uh, I appreciate all the feedback and all the support from you guys thank you have a good one